Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna show you the exact method that I use to make my drawings 10x faster, like really faster. And in order to do that, you need to acquire two skills. The first skill is mostly about your mindset and the mindset that you have when you're drawing. And the second skill is about how you draw with your hands, how you move your hands and how you choose to look at every lines. And it's mostly about drawings and movements. So let's dive into the first skill that you need to acquire. The first skill is about your mindset and the mentality that it takes in order for you to create something novel and something that really revives your soul in a way it just like excites you so if that is your goal if you want to you know like achieve that level of satisfaction when you're drawing then you need to absolutely try to implement this mindset because otherwise it's just gonna be boring for you drawing is gonna look so lifeless and soulless and it's just gonna make everything Everything so much harder because when you're not enjoying the process you're like why am I even doing this because the only reason that anybody would draw is the enjoyment that we get actually the the fact that we actually feel alive when we're drawing we feel that beautiful surge of just motivation so like we become more and more positive as we as we draw and if that is not being achieved then we're not gonna feel motivated to continue on and to draw more so what do we need to do in order to have that ready mindset for drawing so that we're not gonna feel drained at some point if it's too boring you're gonna give up so this is really important you need to have this mindset and so the first thing that you need to actually implement to gain that mindset is that you need to go into this drawing mode without having any expectation so like you're gonna remove all the expectations all the things that you thought that your drawing is gonna become they all go out of the window because it's not gonna be what you think so your drawing is gonna go sideways and you have to have that mindset in order to not get disappointed you know like if you don't really expect yourself to have anything perfect then you're not gonna be upset by any imperfection and then you need to think about all of those mistakes as not mistakes but a different kind of structure or a different kind of shape so like you're not gonna look at a circle that is a little bit skewed and say that it's just wrong you're not gonna say that if you have that mindset you're gonna say that it's just different it could be something else it could not be circle specifically but it could have the potential of becoming a different style of just drawing and then once this mindset happens to you you're you're just gonna look at a very ugly drawing like traditionally ugly drawing and you're gonna say it's beautiful it's it's the actual shakiness of the lines that makes it even more beautiful the other day i was actually looking at my nephew's drawing and i thought to myself why is he so good and then i thought again why am i thinking that this is actually a good drawing because if you look at the drawing there are so many lines that are so shaky and not stable but i thought about it and like and then I realized that what I'm looking at is not the actual painting itself. It's not the actual drawing itself. What I am seeing with my mind is the potential that each and every line might have. And like, I'm looking at my own mind. And that's because of the mindset shift that I actually worked on. And I realize now that I have actually adopted this mindset that when I look at my own mistakes, I sometimes turn them into a very good part of the painting. Like the way that you look at every lines, it really matters. Like you have to stay positive about the effect of every line and not say that this is gonna actually affect the painting in a very bad way. And really get into the detail of the painting in, in the core of the painting, okay? So like, don't look at the 
painting. Don't look at the drawing overall. Just look at each and every line. If the drawing doesn't look good, then those lines are not looking stable. That's why the drawing doesn't look good. And I guess I would actually name that mindset the fearless mindset. And this mindset is a staple for character drawing because in character drawing, you have so much potential to actually choose the shapes that your character wants to appear in and it can be anything it's just gonna be your own style of just drawing and that makes it so exciting because you're now not afraid of any kind of fear that might be right in front of you you're just gonna go into the fear and you're gonna explore the heck out of it and you're gonna be done in no time because this barrier that you have in your mind is going to make you slower and if you remove the barrier of fear your thoughts are going to go faster at the speed of light and so that was the first skill that you needed to acquire and the second skill is actually just trying to improve your line drawings yes i know that i said how to get faster at character drawing and i cannot really give you the quick answer because first you need to improve your line drawings and by that i mean you need to obsess over them you need to be able to draw a line that looks like it has been drawn by a machine and it, and it has that flow to it doesn't look like you have some doubt when you're drawing it so what i started to do in order to get that right was to practice line drawing separately like i would just pick a sketchbook and draw a lot of circles and different objects that are separate from each other so the practice would look like this i would just start drawing circles and i would try to get them very straight and very flowy and the only thing that actually helped me do this was the trick that i actually learned in that moment to use my entire shoulder whenever i am drawing circles to not only rely on my wrist movement but my entire arm should move when i am drawing circles so like there were so many other techniques that i came across and it just made my overall character drawing so much easier and i would say that if you do that then your character drawing would become so much faster and i try to explain much more about the creativity mindset that you need to implement when you're drawing in this video so you can click on this video if you want to and learn more about that creative mindset and thank you so much for watching i hope that i can see you in the next video have a nice week